Hey everyone! Welcome to my channel and welcome to my winter 2024 favorites video. I really love putting together these favorites videos. It's a good reflection point for me each quarter or each season to be like, what are the products that I'm really loving right now? And although with the amount of subscription boxes I share on the channel, I get tons of products, um, I am very picky about what my tried and true products are. So I am super excited to go through the list of products that I have with you all here today. Now I will say that a majority of these are not necessarily subscription box related products because I am just being genuine about the products that I truly use all the time and that I really love. Some of them are, some of them aren't, but I would say the majority are not from subscription boxes. But that being said, there's some really awesome goodies and I cannot wait to share them with you all. With that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. Normally on my channel, I unbox lots of subscription boxes, but I do like to throw in some different lifestyle and other videos here on the channel as well. So if you like these favorites videos, definitely make sure to give this one a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today unboxing all these favorites. If you have winter favorites, leave them in the comments below because I love learning about people's favorites. And honestly, I tend to buy when like, like not necessarily influencers, but when I see people talking about products that they love, I'm like, oh, I think I need to try that. So definitely let me know some of your favorites down in the comments below. All right, so I have a list here on my phone of things that I just like jotted down. So we're just gonna work top to bottom. So the order might be random, but this is a mix of like skincare, food, clothing, lifestyle, like all sorts of different types of things in this favorites video. All right, a lot of y'all know that I had a cold at the beginning of January ish, I guess beginning of January. Um, and because this is like, tis the season of lots of sicknesses going around, there's definitely a handful of things in this favorites video related to like having a cold or being sick that were products that just like saved my life during that time. And so that therefore are some of my winter favorites. So the first one is from Ricola and these are their nasal care, cool menthol, cough drops. They're called cough drops. Um, so the cold that I had was like five days of just a sore throat and then like three days afterwards of just intense congestion. So I really needed something for my sore throat. I think that my boyfriend and I had like five or six different bags of different types of cough drops. Um, I like to try new different flavors of cough drops or different things of cough drops. And this one personally was my favorite because it was intense enough with the menthol that I felt like it was doing something, but it wasn't so intense. Like there's some of the Vicks Vapo ones that are like insane insane i thought the flavor on these ones was really nice actually the original pack that i had of these was like on clearance at target for a dollar that i picked up and so i was like oh my god it was marked as a repackage i'm like oh my gosh i'm obsessed i need to find these i think this is the exact same thing as that i've had a few it's close enough so it's this ricola max nasal care that i really um enjoyed. The original Rehola are great too. Other cough drops are great too. But for me, this was my favorite one. Also the packaging on this one, I just, it's, it's a vibe. I really love it. In that same vein, y'all know this because we, I talk about this in subscription box Sundays, but liquid IV. One of my favorite liquid IVs is their wild berry blend with Im immune support. So if you don't know about liquid IV, these are like little flavored packets that you put in water that help you kind of retain or get that um, like hydration quicker. Um, so I use these a lot in general. They're great when you're sick. And I really, one, I love the flavor of the wild berry. And because it has that immunity, when like, I feel like I could be sit getting sick or I was kind of around somebody who was sick, I do like to drink these. So this has been a big staple for me. I think they also have a tangerine flavor of the immune version of these, but personally the wild berry is my favorite. I do believe, I do have a coupon code where I think you can get 20% off your order plus free shipping on liquidiv.com. So I'll leave that down below in the event that you wanna use the code or you can use anybody else's code or no code at all. But I do, I really love these. Honestly, I'm at the point, I still have a good chunk of them in here, but I may need to place another order soon because I feel like I've been drinking a lot of these. All right, up next is a set of products that I think I mentioned in, I think I might've mentioned it in my fall favorites, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm just 
so obsessed with this that I'm like, we're sharing it again in the winter. And that is the Lizette's Professional Hair Care Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. So my hair dresser, this is her line, and I'm just, I'm so obsessed with it. It is like the best shampoo I've ever used, and I genuinely mean that. It's um, using horsetail, apple, bamboo, and aloe extracts. It's sulfate-free, paraben-free, alcohol-free, silicone-free, and a vegan formula. And the scent of it is so nice. I love the way that it smells. It does wonders for my hair. Um, I tend to have some like dry patches. They're not psoriasis, but it kind of feels like something like that. I went to the dermatologist, I forgot what they said it was. And honestly, the shampoo has actually really helped with that. Um, so I am obsessed with these. She, the volumizing is more for like if you have thinner hair, but if you have thicker hair, there's also um, the moisturizing shampoo that could be better for you. So she has tons of products. I think in the last one I shared, she also has a purple shampoo. She has um, a detangling spray. She has masks, like she has everything. So if you wanna support um, a small woman owned business, like her products truly are top notch. Now I know in the last video, I think she had given me a, a coupon code, which was, I think it was 10% off your order of $65 or more. I will put it down below. I don't know if it's still active or not because I didn't tell her I was put it, putting in this video, but, but I genuinely truly love these products and I use them all the time. And yeah, if you're looking for a new like shampoo and conditioner, I highly recommend this one. Also just the bottles are so cute in the shower because they're so minimal and I personally really like that. <laughs> all right, the next thing up is a food item and this is the best butter I have ever had. Okay. So Wild Grain, this is a subscription box product. Wild Grain is a monthly like bread baked goods subscription where the things come frozen and then you bake them. Well, this month when I was putting my stuff in, like you get to customize it, they have churned French butter as an option. I was like, what schools me? Because they have really nice loaves of bread and I'm a German and I'm picky about my bread and they have good bread. And so it's like, I have to get this. Um, and let me tell you, you can't tell, but like there's a whole chunk of this that's now missing. This is the best butter I've ever had. It's from Le Gaulle and I, Le Gaulle, I'm not, don't speak French really well. This is their salted churned French butter. But again, it was featured in Wild Grain. Now on their site, I think this size, and I don't know if it's exactly the size, but something similar to this was like 60, a $16 butter. So I think it is technically cheaper to get it in Wild Grain. It's delicious. I hope that they keep it in wild grain because I, I don't want to say I'll get it every month because I don't know how long it will take me to get through this. I did buy a little butter dish to put this in, but I kept it in the packaging at least for the video so you could like see it. Holy moly. This is the kind of butter where you could like cut off slices and just eat, eat straight butter. And I know that sounds gross, but it is like the best. I just, I don't even know how to explain that this is the best butter that I've ever had in my life. It's just, this is the type of butter where you can put that thick, like, slab of butter, doesn't even need to be melted, like a thick slab of butter on bread and just like a butter boat, like if you're, you know, like a butter bread, just, mm, it is just, let me just tell you, this butter has changed my life. I, uh, to be honest, tonight after I finish filming, I'm probably gonna have their Asiago loaf toasted with some of this butter on top because it's just, it's a whole new level, level of butter. And I sometimes tend to be cheap with like butter and things like that. Sometimes I get Kerrygold to be, you know, nice because this is grass fed um, and I know a lot of people do care about that and I'm like, what have I been missing out on because oh my gosh, this butter is so much better and you wouldn't think that it would be but oh my gosh, I like legit like, I want to like eat a chunk, hunk of it right now. It is amazing. And it is here too, like it's made by Legal, a century old French family run creamery. This traditional butter is the ideal match for our artisan breads. It takes 24 hours to make using hand picked creams churned in traditional barrels. We hope you like it as much as we do. <laughs> I think I like it more. All right, up next is another Wild Grain favorite. So I just, I'm obsessed with Wild Grain as a subscription in general. I think I have a $10 off coupon code. It's $89 a month, so it's not the cheapest box, but you get tons of stuff inside. Um, in my most recent subscription box Sunday, you'll be able to see my haul. So um, if you're watching it, just go to the most recent subscription box Sunday. You can see the full unboxing there. But I've been getting these a few times now and I am obsessed. It is their strawberry rhubarb turnovers. Now the box, it's empty. I've eaten all four um, and I eat them within a span of two days. We're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> um, so it says indulge in our strawberry rhubarb turnovers with their golden flaky crust enveloping a luscious blend of street, <laughs> sweet strawberries and tangy rhubarb. Each bite offers a tender center, crisp edges and a buttery richness. Perfect on their own or with a dollop of cream. Oh, I've never tried them with a dollop of cream before. Um, I either have already inserted or I will insert a picture of like what it looked like baked. Now the picture baked, it doesn't look like incredible, but the taste is just, mm, I love it. 
Um, I love strawberry. I love rhubarb in desserts particularly. I know rhubarb can be really like bitter or tart or whatever um, when it's not cooked with whatever, but just something about these, I can't help it. They come, so they're four in there and it does come s saran wrapped in like two and two. So I bake two and I eat two because you know, whatever. They're just so good. Um, you preheat the oven to 400, you bake these 24 to 30 minutes and then you let them rest for 10 minutes before you eat them. They're just, they're one of my favorite things. And whenever I see them, I try to add them on. I don't know if I'll add them on every month because that's probably not good for me, but they're just out of this world good. Okay, up next is a toothpaste. <laughs> um, But you know what, it is a favorite. So it is the Colgate Max Fresh with Whitening Knockout Toothpaste. I, let me preface this by saying that I like a like minty, spicy toothpaste, like a strong, like fresh breath is here. There's a lot of toothpastes that are like, they barely taste like anything, they're just a little bit sweet. I like minty strong. So if you don't like that minty strong toothpaste, you probably wouldn't like this one. Now, historically, I've always gotten the blue version, which is not the knockout, it's like whatever. So there's the purple, the blue, which is just like regular mint, and then they do also have a green, which is like a spearmint. And I do love spearmint, but not necessarily like as a toothpaste, it's not strong enough. Um, and when I was going to buy repurchased, like the blue ones, I saw the purple and I'm like, I kind of just want to try them out. I was like, but it only came in a pack of three and I'm like, well, I hope I like these because I have three if I don't. And obsessed. I will be repurchasing the purple for here on out. Like I don't even need the blue anymore. Like it's so strong and minty. It does knock out, fights bad breath and food aftertaste. It's just a really strong thing. It has whitening. I don't know if the whitening does anything. I'm going to be honest, but like I really, I really love this toothpaste. <laughs> I know it's a very random thing to have in a favorites, but like, I'm genuinely obsessed. So if you like, like minty strong toothpaste, highly recommend this one. All right, up next is a facial tool. And you know, we've gotten like the PMD, like facial tools in boxes and I, it's fine, but I don't like how bendy the top of it is and how thin it is. And I wanted something, I know you're not supposed to be abrasive and like get in with it when you do these like facial tools when you're washing your face. But I wanted something that felt just a little bit more sturdy and I was like looking online and you know there's really expensive ones but one of the ones that kept being recommended in a lot of the posts was this one from Nagra Cool. So this is the back and then there's also the front there um, and this is just their like little facial tool. So um, it charges here. The charger is a little bit weird. It magnetizes it to it. This is $30 on Amazon. I'll put a link. Um, I'll put a link to my Amazon store so you can just see like favorites from other videos and just my top favorites are just in my Amazon store as is. So I'll leave that for you to take a peek at, but I'll put this in there as well. I think I do earn a tiny commission if you order something for me through Amazon. So you can choose not to order it through that link, but it does help out the channel. Um, I chose, there was plenty of other colors. I chose the blue color. I'll be honest, the blue color in the picture on Amazon was not the blue that really came, it was definitely a little bit lighter, but I still really like this color. So you turn it on by holding the middle button. You can hear it, and then you can go up or down. The other option with this one is that you can change the temperature, hot or cool, um, and then it's got some ridges up top, it's got some ridges in the back if you wanna apply like your creams and things with it. So yeah, I really like it. I feel like for $30 it's good, and as you can see it has like a, you can like, not that you're supposed to scrub, like I said, but I just felt like with the PMD, it just like, it's so tiny there that I just didn't really personally enjoy it. So I've been really loving this Nagra Cool. I'll be honest, I haven't really played with the temperature thing too much because when I'm washing my face, I don't really care, but yeah, it's very cool. All right, up next is actually one of the things that I'm wearing. Um, if you did watch my advent calendar, my daily advent calendar thing over on Instagram this past um, December, you probably would have seen me wear, wearing a lot of these. I bought these sweaters in a bunch of different colors. These are the um, Amazon Essential sweaters, like women's sweaters. And I was looking for thin sweaters that would work well under blazers for work. Um, not necessarily thin, but ones that would like work well under the blazers. I think maybe I was wanting something a little thicker than this, but honestly, these have been great. I love this color on me. Um, I don't, maybe I mentioned this, I, I don't know if I mentioned these in a prior favorites or in something else, so I'll see if it's in my Amazon store, but I'll link it down below. They have so many colors of these, um, so I order, I've order. i ordered like a bunch of colors. Um, I picked a bunch of them up, I think on like Black Friday, so maybe, I, did I do like a Black, I don't even remember anymore if I did what I've done last year. <laughs> um, but I really enjoy these. They're usually like between 15 to 
$20, maybe 30 max. Like they're in, within a reasonable price point. And if you do like them, you can, you can buy them in a bunch of, you know, different colors. And I may have worn them on the channel before too, but yeah, I just, I really like them. They work really well with, with a jacket or a blazer and things like that. They work well on their own. They do have some with like different patterns. So I think I have a leopard print one or two or cheetah print or whatever print. Um, so yeah, been obsessed with these sweaters. Okay. While we're on the clothing train, we'll continue down the clothing train. Now the next item is a Christmas product. Um, not that you can't wear it all year, but I bought myself a new thing of Christmas PJs, but before I show them, so like I have like matching family Christmas PJs. I have ones matching ones with my boyfriend, but I saw there's a lot of YouTubers that I think got these gifted in 2022 to them. Cause I noticed like a lot of the UK people like Zoella had them, Helen Anderson had them. Somebody else had them, the Sconey Jolies. Like some of the, if you're into like British YouTube type stuff, then you may have seen them wear them. This year it's a different, or 2023 was a different pattern from last year. And I don't know that, I think they're probably all sold out now. So I, if you, if you want it, check back maybe next year at Christmas time, because they may come out with another version. First of all, they came in a box. This is what they look like. They are so cute. I do have them folded up right now. Um, they came in a box that was this pattern and like the packaging was stunning. Now these were like $60 and I think there was like a sale at the time that I was doing it. But these are just so, so soft. So it's a set of, it's a long sleeve button up top. It does have a little um, pocket in the front. They're from Chelsea Piers, New York. So I will leave a link down below. They're so soft. They're not cotton. They are, I think, polyester, but they're so soft. And honestly, they're so soft that I'm like, mm, if I find another pattern that I love, I might actually order. They're not cheap though. But I just found that like, there's a, there's now that like cri matching Christmas pajamas and Christmas pajamas have gotten more popular. There's just a lot of like not as cute versions in my opinion. And I felt like this just felt so Christmas cause it's got Christmas trees and wreaths. And I just felt it was just like quintessential Christmas where some of the other Christmas pajamas don't feel like they feel fun and they're like, oh, holiday, but they're not like straight up Christmas. Um, and then it does come with a pair of little pants. They do have pockets in them. Um, there's no drawstring on these, but it does have a little waist there. Now you will want to pay attention when you're ordering because it is in UK sizes. So normally I order myself a size small, but in UK sizes an extra small was the right size for me. So size eight in UK sizing. Um, so just keep that in mind if you do order from them in general. I mean like based on these, I would absolutely order additional pajamas. And these are like, they do have, they had these in men's, the same set in men's, they had the same set in kids. So you like theoretically could get these as family matching Christmas pajamas. But like I said, this was a $60 pair or something around that price. So like they're not cheap <laughs> um, versus like what the $15 ones from Target. You know what I mean? For matching pajamas, this might not be it. But if you wanted like a treat yourself cozy, like Christmas pajama for yourself vibe, these are it. Um, if I have a picture of like a model in it, I'll put it up. I don't know. Uh, it, it depends if they still have them on the website or not, if I can get that. But I'm obsessed. They're so cozy. It was like my treat myself Christmas moment. And I am going to cherish these. Like I genuinely love these so much. All right, up next is a t-shirt that I picked up at Target. And actually like I had finished my Christmas shopping and I was at Target and I was looking at the, actually I was in the men's section looking at their graphic tees. And I saw a shirt and I'm like, I have to get one of these for Rachel and me. And it is <clears throat> Frog and Toad. And I don't know, I just grew up with Frog and Toad books. And it says, we must stop eating, cried Toad as he ate another. And I feel like this is just me and Rachel when we're together. And I just love Frog and Toad, it's so nostalgic. I ended up going in a size medium for myself because I kind of wanted this to be like an oversized sleep shirt kind of vibe. Um, I don't know if I, not that I wouldn't wear this out, but it just gave me sleep, sleep shirt vibes. So I just like upsized for both Rachel and I. She loves hers. I love mine. I think it's so cute. I'm like, oh my God, I've been sleeping on these Target graphic tees. I need to go check them out more because like, oh my God, I would have never expected them to have frog and toad. You know, the, the Metallica and stuff like that. It's like, you kind of expect that, but I was like, frog and toad, this is cool. Um, I think it was like $12 or something like that. Um, but you know, Target does deals every once in a while. So yeah, there's a frog and toad shirt. This is in the men's. I don't know if they have it in the women's section or not, but I just went ahead and got the men's. So don't sleep on um, Target's graphic tees, y'all. They have some good stuff. All right, um, going into some more like um, hydrating products for winter. The next product that I have is the Vaseline Dry Hands Rescue. Now this is still from last year and this might've been in my winter favorites last year. So I haven't used the whole thing up yet, but 
you know, there are days when your hands get so cracked that you just need something a little bit more. And a lot of the balms or things are just like oily and thick and it's too much. And this is the perfect thing. I'm not, I don't like the way lotion feels on the body, on the hands, on the whatever. Um, and so for me, this is just great. Um, it's a dry hands rescue, a hand cream for dry skin, use after hand washing. And it starts healing from the first use uses moisturizing glycerin, replenishing prol prolipids, and Vaseline jelly. As you can tell, I've like used it a lot to where it's kind of like come down. I'm like, do I need to buy another one? Am I at the point where I should buy another one? I really truly do love this. It's fragrance free. It works really well. And it just, it absorbs really quickly. Your hands aren't super sticky where I feel like sometimes when you get those like extra moisturizing hand products, they are. So Highly recommend that for these cooler months. To go along with that, I actually have a hand soap that I enjoy, well, year round, but it's great in the winter months. And I got this in a previous Dermy Doc the first time. Now the packaging has changed since the one that I got in Dermy Doc. It does look a little bit different now, but it is the Dove hand soap. This is their advanced care hand wash. Now they have different versions of this. I've used different ones. This is a sensitive skin hypoallergenic one with 10 layers of nour nourishment. I think they have an antibacterial one that I've used and liked. This one smells really nice. They all have different scents. This one does have a stronger fragrance. It's not like a strong fragrance, but compared to the antibacterial one that I tried, I think this one has a stronger fragrance. Um, it washes away dirt and germs and it's just a nice, hand soap that kind of like helps keep your hands a little bit more moisturized. Um, and I found that this works better than like the general, like aloe, you know, if you like the soft soap, aloe soap, or like the off brand soft soap, aloe soap. I find that this works better for me, but again, and I just, the scent smells good. Of course, this is like five or $6 compared to like, you can get the other one for like a dollar, but personally, I have really loved this Dove hand wash. Okay, up next, this is a product that came in the most recent Winter Dermy Doc box. So you can get it by ordering the Dermy Doc box, which I do believe, I forgot my coupon code is. I'll put my coupon code down below if you do wanna get the Dermy Doc box, or you can go out and purchase this product just as is if you don't wanna get that box. This is the CeraVe Healing Ointment. Now, this is more of an ointment, so this is a lot stronger than this Vaseline Dry Hands Rescue, but what I, I'm putting this in my favorites for is because of that cold that I had where I was blowing my nose a lot. And you know, when you blow your nose a lot, you start to get those dry patches that become very painful. So I just started putting this all over my nose. Every time I blow my nose, I'd be like rubbing this all over at least the base of my nose. And this worked amazing. I was like, oh my gosh, is it gonna break me out or clog my pores? It has a non-greasy feel. And so this worked beautifully. Um, it protects and soothes dry, cracked and chafed skin. Um, it's a skin protectant with ceramides. Like I said, I use this specifically for my nose and that's why I like it. You could obviously use this in lots of other places. It's just like a petroleum type of, or petroleum, I don't know, type of product. So it's, um, you know, but for me, I use it on my nose and I really liked it for that. So highly recommend this product or even the Dermy Doc box. Like I said, if you've been interested in the Dermy Doc box and you wanna get the winter box, this does come in it um, this year. Okay, here's the deal. This might have come in a Dermy, Dermy Doc box too, but I don't remember if it did or if I got it in a different box or if I, I might have paid for this on my own. I don't remember where I got this from. Anyway, it's a, another product from CeraVe and this is their Acne Control Cleanser. This is their 2% salicylic acid treatment. I think it's called something, like when I was looking this for this, I think it's called like the Acne Control SA Wash or something. It's called something different, but it reduces blackheads and helps prevent new breakouts. I've been really enjoying this. Um, during December, I did like my um, advent calendar unboxings and I used, I had a Lositan advent calendar, which I do not recommend. Um, it was not good. It was, there was no value there for what it was. But there was some skincare in there that I really like loved the scent of and was using and it created these like breakouts on my cheeks of this different type of acne that I had never gotten before. And this thing cleared it right up. I've been continuing to use it in my routine because I know salicylic acid is good for people with oily skin. And so I wanna use it on a more regular basis to see if long-term there's some benefits. So I've been really, really enjoying this wash. So if you're like me, get some acne and or you're an oily gal, this may be a good wash for you. I fully expect to repurchase this cleanser once I've used it up. All right, and last but not least, one of my favorites is actually a Christmas present that Rachel got me. And so it is a tum tumbler cup. I won't show you the full design quite yet. Um, but I had asked for one, cause I have two that I rotate. I like to drink my liquid IV in this type of cup. And I had two of them, one that I had gotten, I think in a, journal junk box, and then one that I had gotten through Facetory's like influencer program back in the day. 
and I loved the face story one and I dropped it on its side and the whole thing like cracked and I was like, oh my God. Um, so she went ahead and got me a Barbie one. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed. I had like seen some of the Barbie tumblers out there because I think some movie theaters did like Barbie tumblers. Um, this one, I don't know where she got it from, to be honest. I just realized I don't know if I can link it because I don't necessarily want to ask her like how much she spent on me for Christmas, you know what I mean? But I am obsessed with this Barbie tumbler. There's different places that you can get them. I know Hot Topic had one, different ones. This one's bejeweled. It did come with a second little bejeweled sticker here, but I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. I'll have to see if Rachel can send the link. Um, if not, there won't be a link, but they do have some really cute tumblers. I think I might still want to get a third tumbler, so I need to figure out what I want to get, but very, very cute. All right, and that is everything in my winter 2024 favorites video. I genuinely, truly love all these products. I know it's a somewhat random assortment of products, but I truly do love and highly recommend everything that I shared today. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Have you tried any of my favorites? Um, what are your winter favorites? Like I said, I would love to hear your winter favorites down in the comments below. If you like this video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and to the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.